Hi, Dr. Goldberg, just uh, giving an update on our internal medicine series, talking about the use of steroids today and uh, what some of the side effects are. Uh, steroids obviously have a lot of benefit in uh, several diseases that we treat, but there are short-term and long-term effects that you need to be conscious of. Uh, be careful with uh, elevation of blood sugar in our patients, especially with diabetes, as well as azotemia. Um, there's a leukocytosis frequently associated with steroid use, as well as a left shiftedness with demargination of polymorphic nuclear cells. There can be a redistribution of fat, and certainly a long term use can cause a buffalo hump on the back of the neck. Fluid retention is frequent uh, with hypernatremia as well as hypokalemia, as steroids increase the effect of the aldosterone pump. Topical application of the skin can cause skin thinning. Uh, systemic administration can cause striae uh, on the abdominal wall, uh, so watch for that. Carpal tunnel syndrome is also a problem, um, as well as cataract involvement. Steroid myopathy uh, affecting the legs is a key issue. Uh, I have a patient with Wegner's disease right now that's being uh, that's developed some steroid myopathy of her, of her thigh muscles. Watch the bones, uh, checking for osteoporosis, uh, which is very common in patients with long-term steroid therapy. And also CNS problems can be an issue with short or long-term therapy, including insomnia, moodiness, and goofiness. So these are just some of the side effects that are common that you need to be aware of when you use steroids. Um, pinpoint them quickly if you can. Dr. Galbraith signing off. Thank